Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Guild Wars 2 running on Intel HD 620 graphics on a Core i3 7100U processor, and I'm using the default settings the game loaded up with, which is 1366 by 768 and the auto-detected settings, and just playing through in this early uh, stage of the game, as I'm not really a Guild Wars 2 player, but in this early section, even sort of fighting a couple of beasts down here, we are seeing frame rates typically above 40 to up to around 70 frames per second um, even with a number of sort of characters on screen here obviously the game is going to get a lot more complex as you go further through it and I'd expect to see more in the way of uh, sort of larger creatures and effects um, but even so when we're seeing frame rates up to sort of 50 to 70 frames per second I'd expect this to give a playable experience even as you go later through the game um, of course there is the option as well to pull down those graphical details a little bit as as we're not right on minimum there is a minimum preset and when i loaded that up i was actually getting frame rates closer to sort of 80 90 frames per second so i just put it onto the auto detect just to let it bring the graphical detail up a bit so if you have a hd 620 equipped laptop and you're looking at playing guild wars 2 uh, you shouldn't have a major issue with it um, you may just want to sort of balance the graphical settings a bit if you're playing later game content just to keep the frame rates high or accept that frame rates are going to dip a little. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.